What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Opinion Spot. Um, it's me, Chris, aka Mom Burning Kid. How's everybody doing out there? Me, I'm feeling great. I hope everybody is well on their end. Uh, so, what's the topic of today? Um, that's easy. Favorite team-ups slash crossovers. Now, we all love a great team-up when two heroes get together and battle a common enemy or two of their great enemies, you know, or two heroes from different universes coming together or even a group coming together to battle a common foe. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I enjoy that. I love seeing team-ups or, or crossovers. Um, so I'm going to give you a couple of crossovers and team-ups that I really enjoyed. Um, um, that I have in my comic collection. And um, so let's get started, shall we? So um, I think I'm going to start off with maybe a team-up that is just so popular that we're finally going to see a real live feature length movie or I should say a feature length animated film and that's uh, Bruce and Clark you know um, two of the biggest icons or I should say two of the major the big three icons of the DC Universe uh, no question about it guys um Bruce and Clark are like like night and day you know what I'm saying um just here you have one the greatest detective you know the Dark Knight and you have the last son of Krypton Superman and when these two get together you see like almost as if it's like a uh, a sibling rivalry between each other you know they're they're going at it they're almost trying to one up each other in 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 some way but always there's always a mutual respect even though maybe sometime Bruce will take it a different way than Clark will you know um but it's always good to see that these guys they can get along and and show that hey they do have mutual respect for each other no no question about that and they do consider each other the I mean Bruce has gone on to say Clark is the brother he never had and vice versa for Clark who said the same thing so having these two together have always been they've always been great to team up um, and they've been teaming up for years I mean no question about that um, but it, it, it does sometimes make you wonder like in some way, people's eyes, it's like, do they really like teaming up, or is it just, um, just they team up just to, you know, well, they team up to team up. And I, I quickly answer that question for everybody. They enjoy each other's company. In my eyes, they enjoy each other's company. But um, that's always been a great team up, um, right there, off the bat. No, no question about that. And that's I, I thought I'd start off with them first, you know. Um, I, I give you guys a great crossover that I really enjoyed a lot. Um, and this crossover, if you have this in your collection, if you have this in your collection like I do, then I give you much love and respect. And that's the crossover between the Uncanny X-Men and the new Teen Titans. Um, just a great crossover. I mean, because uh, just the the concept of they're, they're young. They're both young teams at first. Um, they come together on a common goal to 
uh, fight Darkseid in some way because Darkseid is looking, he's tearing down the source wall to find the source. And he knows that the Phoenix Force can also assist him, if I'm remembering correctly, can assist him in, in this. And he re recreates the Dark Phoenix. So basically, the Titans and the, the X-Men come together to fight the Phoenix, but also Deathstroke's involved in this as well. So, and we also get to see a good battle between Wolverine and Deathstroke. And Deathstroke is all pissed off at Wolverine because Wolverine, he's even said it, there's a panel where he's, Wolverine sneaks up on him and he's like, nobody has ever been able to sneak up on me, you little runt. And Wolverine is taking it to Deathstroke. Um, so it's, it, this was a great crossover. I mean, you saw the crossover, it was basically, you know, uh, a great team up like that. No question about it. Um, Robin and his team up, team crossing over with Cyclops and their team. They're fighting the Phoenix, who, which really is not Gene, though we see a little hesitation between Cyclops in some part. Um... Because it's it's Gene in some way he he still sees Gene, but the team is trying to tell him like no it's not. But it was it's a beautiful story, great story. I enjoyed it. Um, it's rare, it's very rare. So if you can find it outside of a a uh, crossover collection, you're great, like I did. So it's really great. Uh, another team up I would definitely slash crossover would definitely have to be between off the top of my head Kyle Rayner Green Lantern and the Silver Surfer now if you all remember we've seen these two battle in the whole DC Marvel crossover um, and Silver Surfer came out on top Norn Rad came out on top so, and I know a lot of Norm Rad fans out there was probably saying yes. Um, and in that battle, we see them collide. It was power cosmic versus the power of Oa. And these two collide, and bam, comes out comes Norrin standing over Norrin, I mean, excuse me, st standing over Kyle laid out. But in this battle, it was basically, it wasn't even a battle, it was a crossover because in this crossover we saw um, Thanos he crossed over into the DC universe and um, he wants you know to bring destruction you know the usual and also be reunited with his love Lady Death um, but there's also a twist to it because he needs the power of Oa so he kind of tricks Kyle into helping him and vice versa parallax crosses over to the marvel universe and he faces off against norman rad um silver surfer but it in the end they all they both both heroes are tricked into helping these two psych psychotic uh <laughs> villains but in the end you see that both great heroes come together battle a common foe and um take out the bad guy, you know, <laughs> in some way, but always a great cross, I, I, another great comic, um, I do recommend it, you know, great crossover, um, just a great crossover, and speaking of uh, Marvel vs. DC, I, what, what better crossover than the two big titans of the comic industry, Marvel and DC, blocking heads, coming together, putting some of their great icons versus some of the others icons and we saw the likes of Hulk versus Superman uh, Spider-Man versus Superboy, Silver Surfer versus Norm, uh, Green Lantern Aquaman versus uh, 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 Submariner, Wolverine versus Lobo uh, Quicksilver versus uh, Flash, Wonder Woman versus Storm Thor versus uh, Shazam Captain Marvel, there were just so many gross crossover fights going on, even fights that we didn't see. Um, they had Iron Man versus Steel, Hawkeye versus Green Arrow, uh, 
just some great cross. I mean, the funniest thing I've seen in that that this this crossover was between uh, was a, a battle between you see Gambit fighting Nightwing and Wolverine going at versus Killer Croc and um, Nightwing and Batman are watching in some way, and then all of a sudden. Uh, uh, Batman, uh, Logan actually hijacks the Batmobile, <laughs> he hijacks the Batmobile, uh, he picked the lock with his claw, and, and they drive back to, uh, Westchester, back to the X-Mansion. But some really funny stuff right there. 